So before we start, I'd like to remind you that on the 15th of each month, I go live. So we'll have all the information down below. Make sure you don't miss it. It's just in a couple of days. I hope to see you there. Ciao. You look taller than me like this. I'm not though. You're not. I'm actually taller. Why do you look taller? That's a historically accurate beauty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Big thanks to my girlfriend Kenzie for filming me during this video. Also thank you to my friend Martin for gifting this medieval overcoat and the hat. And most importantly thanks to all of you Noble Ones for watching. Hello number ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking and today we're going to have a look at a late 14th century, 15th century kind of outer garment, a overcoat that belongs to, in this case, my impression of a medieval knight. Of course, in this case, we're talking about a winter garment or perhaps something you can wear on a cold autumn day. Not something you would really wear for, for, for summer because, yes, you would melt in it. But the clothing is really nice. The quality, top notch. As for those who are watching this channel, you know that I've recently made a video on the arming doublet that I had produced from a tailor in central Italy, a medieval design. And if you haven't seen that video, you'll find a link in the description below. This is a secondary layer. It's something that goes on top of my Armin doublet as an extra protection against the weather, the cold, etc. So what I'm trying to recreate here is the full figure and impression of the medieval knight. So of course when we think of medieval knights we imagine weapons, we imagine armor, but I've, as I've said many times on this channel, the soft kit. So all the different things that a knight would be wearing underneath his armor um, or would be wearing alternatively to his armor, so even civil clothing, military clothing, footwear, all these things are incredibly important for the quality of the impression that you're trying to create, to recreate. On this channel, what I'm trying to do with this crowdfunding, as you know, um, you'll find information in the description, lots of information in the description today, um, but with this crowdfunded um, impression, what I'm trying to do is to recreate a knight in many different stages uh, throughout his life. So if we are considering one year as a medieval knight of northern Italy, which is what I'm trying to make, trying to recreate, of the late 15th century, and then of course you will have his, he will have his armor, he will have his sword, his arming sword, he will have his battlefield weapon, so possibly a poleaxe and, and whatnot, a glaive perhaps. I will have my lance. I will make footage on horseback, but I will also have my civilian garments. I will also have the things that I might be wearing on a cold day, on a hot day, when I'm walking around, when I'm preparing for war. Now, this overcoat is a great addition to this nightly set uh, because it can be used in a variety of situations in which a medieval knight might have found himself in. So I like it because it can be used both in, in civilian uh, everyday life, but it can also be used when the knight is on campaign. So it's something that it's sort of a jack of all trades, something that you can uh, bring with you and depending on the situation decide to wear it on and it's very good looking. So it's something that you can wear if you're going, for example, to a very fancy uh, dinner or perhaps you're going to church as a knight in this kind of non-military related situations or occasions. So as you can tell it's taking quite a few months to complete this figure of the knight and the reason is because when you go for quality then it will take time but as far as I'm concerned I think it is worth and, and also it's the fact that I'm not really spending my money I'm spending the money of the people who have been donating and supporting my crowdfunding and that's why I want to do it right. I want this image, this impression of the medieval knight to be as authentic as possible and uh, it will take time but at least it will. we will know that it will be uh, well made, it will be historically accurate and it can be something that then we can use to film for example in a medieval castle like real ruins 
and bring us back vibes of the medieval era. So I am really pleased with it. It's very comfortable, it's nice, it feels good. The fact that the inside you've got the linen makes it a lot better because sometimes some kinds of wool, um, when they are in direct contact with my skin, it's not nice. Now, of course, I'm wearing the arming doublet underneath, as I said, so it's not like it's gonna you're gonna wear it directly on you. It's something that it's like a, another layer um, of clothing that you will wear um, on top of your arming doublet in this case. It would keep you warm during the winter, it would keep you warm if it's raining, and as soon as I can get my proper medieval belt uh, produced, and, and of course it's in the making, uh, together with the scabbard and my sword, I think the look will start to see to, to really resemble the impression that I have in mind that I've been trying to make. Okay, so this was a little bit of a small update, we can say, to show you another thing that I've received. So at the moment we have got uh, the, the breastplate, backplate and fold are being produced. We have got the coat, we have got the arming doublet, the, um, I, I don't want to say trousers, like calza braghe, but let's say the trousers and the shoes are also being produced. And I think the next item that I will be ordering will be a proper medieval belt together with the scabbard for my sword and then we will continue on working on the hard kit so the rest of the armor i already have a helmet as you could see i am going to use that as a secondary helmet because a knight didn't just have one helmet a knight could have a few helmets being produced for him and like a uh, like one that is more open like the one i'm having it's a kettle hut of the late 15th century specifically italian and then um a knight could have his fully geared uh, helmet. In my case, I'm going to go for a full armet. I still can't afford it at the moment, but hopefully in the future the crowdfunding will go a bit better and we'll get a bit more funds and then I'll be able to afford the actual full armet and uh, possibly with a wrapper, so the extra plate uh, of protection for extra protection for the knight. Again, a typical uh, late medieval Italian invention. All right, noble ones. Well, let me know if you liked this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel for more content from the Meta. I hope to see you soon, both for the streaming on the 15th and for my next upload. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.